racist rant caught on camera by a Lyft driver on the east side. Uh, he says it started when he asked the passenger to put on his mask. And Cairo 7's Allison Grandy spoke to that driver and joins us live with his story. Allison, his story got a lot of attention. So the driver told me that he recorded the video. So if the couple complained to Lyft that he had stopped their ride, he could show Lyft what happened. Now that video has been shared hundreds of thousands of times. Gosh. Hold on, you're just a f stupid idiot. This is the confrontation caught on camera by Lyft driver David Kangogo. His passenger repeatedly using the N word after refusing to wear a mask during the ride. You notice San? Do you notice San? Because yeah. I do. Joe, stop. I'm videoing. Stop. Stop. But I was just like, oh God, this is not happening. David says he picked up the couple at Malarkey's Sports Grill in Issaquah on Tuesday night. It was only a seven minute drive to their destination in Sammamish. Soon he noticed the man took off his mask. I just said, hey, sir, could you kindly put on your mask? Just said, uh, uh, no, N word. Uh, I am not going to do it. You take me home. Instead, David says he pulled into a parking lot and told them the ride was over. It was clear that his, mess, his problem was not the mask. His problem was um, a black man telling him what to do. David says the man's wife pleaded for him to put the mask back on, so he was wearing it when the video started. David recorded the video, so if the couple complained to Lyft, he could show them what happened. Feel good now? Do you feel good? Do you, do you feel, feel good? good? Do you Here, feel hold good? on, hold on. I'll feel better when I here. Me in your car. David's roommate first posted the video. Now it's been seen more than 400,000 times on Twitter. Feel good. As you're recording, record him saying too, okay? Do you feel good? His name is Joe. Thank Do you, you so feel much. Good? David, who came to Seattle from Kenya almost three years ago, hopes the man can change. I hope that uh, he becomes a better man. Now, David usually works as a stand-up comedian, but with COVID, that's not an option. So he's working for Lyft. He told us that Lyft did ban those customers. He hasn't reported it to police. He's still deciding whether or not he's going to. But that man, that passenger, he says did reach out to him over social media. But he's just not ready to talk with him yet. Allison Grandy, Cairo 7 News. Hmm.